Hello out there. Let's do a video on how to make some graphs and a uh, pretty efficient way to do the homework assignments in this class. So here I'm, I've loaded up uh, homework assignment one and you can download the whole thing if you want it on your computer or you can do uh, what I'm going to do. I'm just going to read it. So here's what uh, I'm a Microsoft guy. So I'm going to just start answering questions. Um, it's a good Good practice to save when you save the file, save it as your name, uh, and then put homework one. I mean, I'll, I'll probably know, but just in case. Uh, it's just good practice for all your classes, so name it as that, and then we'll put your name. So I'll put my name here, and then, uh, uh, okay, number one, please provide it. So you don't need to copy all of this text in there, and I'll show you why in a second. So I'll just put an email here. I'll put tcline3. Pima.edu, um, and then explain why economics isn't the study of just money. So then number two, and I'll just give some explanation. Um, it's good practice in this class to just assume that I mean explain all the time. Uh, I'm mostly grading on your reasoning, so if you don't give me any reasoning, it's harder for me to grade that. So anyway, that's uh, that's going through one, two, three, four, five. Okay, next. Um, so we're just answering all the questions. Here's one that just talks about the graph, so you don't have to draw the graph for that. And we're getting to this one. You can graph it. Uh, it'll help you. And then this one you have to. So sketch the uh, production possibility frontier model and label all axes and points. So you can do this a couple ways. You can do, so some of you are good at Excel. So you can actually plug the numbers into Excel, make a little table, and then just go up here and um, I think it's that one, and then the scatter plot with the connected lines will do that. There's lots of videos on how to use Excel to make graphs, so I won't um, I won't actually do that one. So you could do, you could do that in Excel. You could also uh, go into uh, later on. We will sketch graphs, so um, you can go into um, uh, this is PowerPoint, and you can make your graphs in PowerPoint. So you can go uh, let's see. Style. Okay, one. Okay, and then we'll draw a bunch of these kind of graphs. So you can do this too. Copy this guy. Okay, so this is a a demand curve like we've drawn before. And then you can literally like write on the shapes are right there. Um, we can put in a text box, which I'm not seeing. There we go. And we can always want to label all of our axes here. So price go on the y-axis. This is for a later graph. And then quantity down here. Okay, so that makes pretty smooth uh, graph. Here I'll complete the graph. We'll do a traditional market here. Okay, and then I would label that one the supply graph and that one, or the supply curve and that one the demand curve. And you've got that. And once you copy the whole thing, you can, um, where's my select tool? And you just copy the whole thing, right click on group, group the whole thing, copy it into Word uh, where we're doing our homework here. So let's do that. Didn't copy anything, so that's no good. It's because grabbing that thing instead. There we go. There we go. You can copy it right into, into um, our word assignment there. Okay. And then you can always move that around. Oh, didn't want to do that. I'm just trying to get away from this. Can do type some more. Okay. Then um, let's say you want to just draw it. So you could come into here. I'm in paint. Um, paint's pretty good. You can use uh, something like this. So what I did is I copied some graph paper from the internet and then uh, you just paste it on there. So I'm trying to draw the line straight, but good enough. Then try to do this in a timely fashion. I mean, you can sit here and make your graphs perfectly straight, unlike mine. So the graph it's talking about on homework one is soda and pizza okay so soda and pizza where are we at here so we could just do one graph or one axis for soda and the other one for p 
pizza, and here I'm going to do this trick. I'm going to go to uh, back to the homework. I'm going to pull up the snipping tool. I'm just going to snip the whole thing so I can see it while I'm in paint. Okay. So then I put that guy over there, and I can draw the graph now on my on my graph paper. And I also have a pen. Now you might not have access to this, but you might too. Um, so I'll just come over here, and you know, different colors might might work better. Okay, so I want to do point A, and production point soda forty. Okay, so uh, looks like forty is what I got to get to on soda. So if I maybe do units of five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So here, right here. Okay, so when I'm producing 40 soda, I'm producing no pizza. So there's a point right here. That is point A. And then when I want to produce uh, point B, that's 28 soda and three pizzas. So I don't want to do your work for you, but that's going to be uh, somewhere down here. And then we're going to start to head out over the pizza axis. Um, this isn't what the, the graph looks like, but I'm just going to draw one. Um, so say you had a point like here, say you had a point here, say you had a point here, and then say you had a point here. And you just connect the dots with your pen. If you didn't have a pen, you could use the, uh, the shapes tool up here. You can use that. And then we're just going to copy the whole thing. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. I just hit Control C, or I can copy right there. Either way, take it back into my homework assignment, paste it there. And some of you guys will use uh, pictures of something you wrote on paper. That's fine as long as the lighting is clear. Like this is really easy to read. And then when I'm totally done with it, I'm going to go to Save As. And there's another video on this, but uh, it's fine. And I'm going to call it something. I want to call it Travis Klein Homework 1 ECN 201. Um, and then you just change it to PDF. And I'll save it as a PDF. Let's put that in Documents. Okay, and there it is. Okay, so let's go back into here. And I just want to show you what it looks like on my end. Okay, so in Assignments, uh, when we start to turn in Assignments, it's going to... It's going to have your name, and uh, it's going to show me a score, and the score based on Turnitin. So it checks everybody else's homework all over the internet, and um, okay, and it's going to show that Turnitin score uh, right there. So you want that score to be low, um, and if you copy the questions, you're not cheating, and it's fine, and I I, I can tell what what it's showing it against. Um, but my recommendation is don't have the questions in there. You'll have a very low score, right? So um, don't cut and paste anything off the internet, but write, write your own answers. And um, as long as you're numbering them fine, it's, it's okay. So that's how to make, uh, and then when we want to submit it, I think I have to be as a student. So let me change this to being a student here. And assignments, let's see if I can upload it. I wonder if it'll let me upload. Let's find out. Completion status not submitted. Okay, add a file. Can put mine in documents, right? Uh, this one. Okay. Let's see what happens. We'll add it. Submit. And done. And well. It didn't show me my score. Oh, maybe it did. Let's see. I think it takes a second. Let's see. Apply. Well, it's supposed to show me um, the little plagiarism report. So that's what I was trying to show. Anyway, so that's how to do it. Uh, you can do graphs in PowerPoint, Excel, um, Word. You can do them in Paint. Paint, they look pretty nice. Uh, and then just save as a PDF and then, and then upload. So. Hope that helps. Goodbye.